Hi, this is a nice easy way to make lightweight wheels for your aeroplanes. Here you can see some of the wheels I've made recently on my nut ball. To make these wheels you need a length of pipe lagging. This is readily available in any hardware or DIY store. It's made of a very lightweight foam that's easy to cut and shape. In order to make sure that the ends are square, I've used a mitre box. Cutting off a suitable length, in this case I've cut it to around about 15 millimeters. To use this as a wheel of course you need a centre for it and the easiest way to cut that out of foam board is to use a piece of pipe of a suitable diameter, 15 millimetres in the UK, and sharpen the end with a file. This allows you to screw it through the foam board very easily and cut out a nice neat circle. Of course you can do this with a sharp knife or even a pair of scissors. Once you've cut out your circle, it's very easy to press it into the foam and form the centre of your wheel. Of course, for this to work as a wheel, you need a hole in the middle for the axle to go through. And the best way to mark that is to make yourself a centre finder. Get yourself a piece of scrap foam board, around about 60 millimetres square, or two and a half inches, and mark on it two lines at 45 degrees. These lines should cross roughly in the middle of the board. Take your sharp knife and cut out the triangle that you've now marked. This forms the basis for your centre finder. You'll also need a rectangle of foam board that you're going to place so that the edge of it exactly goes over the centre of the V and it's perpendicular to the bottom of the board. Glue this in place. I use hot glue. To use your centre finder Pop your circle behind, hold it in place with the finger, and on the other side use the edge of the rectangular piece to mark a line across the diameter of the circle. Turning it round through 90 degrees, mark another line, will give you your centre. If you want to be sure, you can mark a third or even a fourth line. I'm drilling the foam board here by hand so there's no danger that I'm going to drill my fingers and using a drill that's suitable for the size of music wire that I've used for the undercarriage. Here's the wheel. A little bit of hot glue will easily keep the foam board in place in the centre. These wheels are not very attractive as they are because they've got square edges so the application of a bit of sandpaper will soon allow you to round off those edges and give yourself a very attractive wheel. And here's the wheel after it's been rounded on both sides. And this is the wheel with one that's still square, so you can see the difference. Notice in this one, I put a pop rivet to give it a bearing surface. There is a quick tip somewhere on the site that shows you how to do this. Here in the UK you can get these white plastic discs 
which are intended to go into the top of screws in flat pack furniture. Drilling a hole in the middle so that it's a tight fit onto your undercarriage wire will allow you to use these as stoppers to keep your wheels in place. And here you can see them on my nutball. I hope you enjoyed this and you find it useful. Happy flying!